Welcome to Alright Fuckers and Fuckettes. This morning we're going to talk about uh, why a Goldwing is a lot better for you than an undressed bike. I was coming into the shop this morning and some lady uh, sat there and had something sitting on top of her car and I'm rolling along on US 41 about fucking 45, 46 miles an hour. I wasn't going very fast. There's tons of traffic. Well, this damn thing is what blew off the top of her car. Now, I didn't know what it was, so I tried to duck it. I couldn't go into the other lane because there was a car there. And uh, I ended out, I went up over that little hump right there at Alligator and 41, jumped that fucking concrete curb, and caught into the center, and thankfully didn't slide into any of the cars that were coming the other way from the other side. I, got lucky and the bitch just slid right down that center median and uh, I, I'm okay I'm a little scratched up on my leg but fuck I limp anyway so I guess ain't nobody gonna be able to tell the difference but uh, somebody's little carelessness there if that would have been any other bike I mean right now I'm dealing with uh, I already put on the put the interstate fairing back on and the interstate bags um, because the right side bag was fucked and all that pretty aspen cage shit that I had on her that shit's off and gone I mean uh, aspen cage trunks all that's left out of the aspen cage stuff and the uh, left side saddle bag is still intact the right side saddle bag was crushed because um, I had the interstate you know bag guards I didn't have the full wrap around aspen cage bag guards because they interfere with my hitch when I pull my race bike trailer. But them engine guards and that engine and that fairing is probably what saved my ass because as I was sliding along with the bike I did have the sense to let go and try guiding myself but uh, as I was sliding along with the bike I noticed that the uh, bike wasn't fucking on top of me. That gold wing, that engine, and those engine guards kept that bike up off of me. Um, and that's a good thing because, you know, I've already, I'm fucking 51 years old. I've already had enough of them wrecks to where, you know, the bike's on top of you and you scraping along and you end out with some serious road rash. I got a few scrapes this morning, but fucking need a new pair, new pair of BDUs too, fucking rip the shit out of my damn pants. But, uh, I ain't sure if that's who was driving, but apparently it was Shannon Warner of 4910 Lemon Bay Drive, Venice, Florida. Whether or not she was driving, we know that the bitch is the one that owns this, and I still clipped it a little bit with the bike, but I almost avoided the bitch. But had that not been a gold wing, had them engine guards not been there, I mean, I'd be toast right now. I mean, you know, I've had many other bikes and slid them, and you know, I usually got the sense to let go, but. Um, you know, once they start going down and you see you can't recover, it's time to let go. Um, and once both tires are off the ground, pretty much just let the bitch go. Try and guide yourself to someplace safe. Um, another little thing we're going to mention is, you know, I don't wear, uh, I mean, I wear full face helmets sometimes. I wear these little half helmets the rest of the time, but uh, if I hadn't had this helmet on, where it popped out that little thing that would have been my fucking head that hit so there's more proof right there that uh, helmets are a good thing helmet took a couple of little scrapes too I mean, not too bad but yeah that thing that popped out ain't nothing but a vent that keeps your head cool in the summer and it probably replaced that but when uh, you uh, get a wreck like that and your helmet's already hit something pretty hard, the helmet goes in the trash. Save your liner if you got another helmet that needs it.
but uh, the helmet itself goes in the trash. Do not reuse them because you never know what stress crack in there or whatever and the next time you hit, you might hit on that fucking crack. Um, I mean, I don't even think whoever was driving that car knows that that shit fell off their car. But, uh, Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm all messed up in the head this morning over this. I spent the past four hours putting my bike back together because that's my daily driver and that's the one I pull my race bike with even though I haven't been racing in a five, five or six months, I guess. But, you know, um, and i got to figure out another trailer hitch because my the one guard did get messed up and the hitch does mount to it. And the bolt didn't break or anything, but it's all bent to shit. That's, I'm going to replace the whole thing. And, uh, gold wings and helmets. They'll keep you safe when people do stupid shit, like leave stuff on top of their car. Um, and yeah, maybe I was a little bit stupid, but you know what? I didn't know what was coming off that fucking car. All I knew is... It was this size and coming at me at 45 miles an hour. So, you know, maybe I did the right thing. Maybe I should have just ran over the damn thing. But what if I'd have just ran over the damn thing and it would have been something that would have fucked up a tire or something explosive like, uh, well, battery wouldn't explode, but you know what I mean. I didn't know what the fuck was coming at me. So, I, you know, I did all I could do. I couldn't catch the other lane. All I could do was catch that fucking center strip in the middle of the road, bounce up over the curve, and go sliding down that goddamn sidewalk, that concrete sidewalk thing in the center of the road. Median is what they call it. Um, and I was just fucking lucky. Pure D luck. That, uh... You know, none of the cars from the other side hit me because the bike did come over to that side. And um, I'd like to thank them boys with that pickup for getting me up here to the shop so I could finish. Well, not finish. Obviously, it'll be another six or eight months before I'm finished, but to where I at least had my bike up here to where I could get her running again to where I can fucking. I mean, they didn't have to do that. They fucking got out their truck and helped. I like that. That's Americans helping Americans. Um, you know, and I mean, I can, a couple other people helped. We got the damn thing up on the truck and got it here. I got ramps here, so it only took two of them to get it off, but... Uh, if that hadn't have been a gold wing and I hadn't have been wearing a helmet, I'd be fucked right now. Well, I'm kind of fucked anyway, but, I mean, I'd probably be in a hospital or dead right now. So when you're picking your bike for your daily driver, pick something safe. I mean, gold wings, cavalcades, shit with engine guards, you know, shit with saddleback guards. That'll keep that bike off you if you do start going down and it starts sliding. Um, but pick wisely, you know, I mean, pick something where you know it's good beefy shit. Alright, I'll let y'all fuckers and fuckheads later. I doubt I'll be doing another video today. I gotta find another Forks or Tweet 2. And the Triple Tree looks okay. Stereo's fucked. <laughs> Old front fairing is fucked. So, you know, I got the interstate shit back on there, but you know, I guess I'm going without a radio for a while. I'll let y'all fuckers and fuckheads later.